problems on geometry in linear equations so on the concept of for linear equations how the problems on problems will come from geometry so generally if you know some applications of geometry means the properties of geometrical shapes you know perfectly we can do the we can solve the problems so let me explain one question first generally very simple we will get this problems from this uh, geometry in linear equations for example in a triangle so in a triangle abc if the question is about triangle we should know the properties of triangle okay then only we can able to solve so in uh, triangle abc angle c is equals to 3 times angle b and that is equals to 2 times sum of the angle a and b so a plus b okay if it is condition is this find angles angles we need to find out right so you observe this question so we should know the property of triangle that means sum of the angles uh, in a triangle is 180 degrees then we can conclude angle a plus b plus c is 180 degrees before that here is c angle is 3 times b that is equal to 2 times a plus b so let's take a b is x and y okay let angle a is equal to x degrees and angle b is equal to y degree so why you should take only a and b you should not take c because c is uh, independent so a b combined only you get c value okay, if you see this both c is equal to 2 times a plus b so if you take a and b only like x and y then you get the c value then c is simple then angle c is equals to 2 times a plus b that means 2 into x plus y right then a b c three angles we have now make the statements means we should make the linear equations so one linear equation you should use the property of triangle okay that is sum of the angles of any triangle is 180 degrees that means angle a plus angle B plus angle C is equals to 180 degrees that's it right now you can apply this that is X plus angle is X Y is B and C is 2 times X plus Y is equals to 180 so 2 times X plus 2 times Y is total 3X plus 3Y is equals to 180 and simplify this x plus y so 3 common that is equals to 180 so 3 1 0 3 60 then x plus y is equals to 60 okay this you can take x plus y is equal to 60 first part so it will be like this now when you observe this next part that means this is from the statement now we have angles 3 times B is equals to 2 times A and B. Then if you take 3Y, C is equals to 3B. This also will take angle C is equals to 3B. So B are taken as Y. So you can take 3Y also. So angle C is equals to 3Y. X plus Y is 60 then take this angle c is so 3y that is equal to 2 times x plus y okay again c and this c is 3 into b so 3 into y again that same c is equal to 2 into a plus x plus y this if you simplify 3y is equal to 2x plus 2y because you need one more linear equation so simplify 2x plus 2y minus 3y is equal to 0 then 2x minus y is equal to 0 from this 2x is equal to y okay. this will be equation 2 that means y is equal to 2x so substitute in equation 1 so from 1 and 2 from 1 comma 2 then we conclude that x plus so y is 2x right is equal to 60 
then 3x is equals to 60 then x is 60 by 3 that is 20 therefore x is equals to 20 degrees once you know x value you get y then y is equals to 2x so 2 into 20 that is 40 degrees so y is 40 once if you know x and y you will get c so c is 2 times x plus y then angle c is equal to 2 times x plus y that is 2 into x plus y so 20 plus 40 so 2 into 60 so it's 120 degrees right? then finally x is 20 that means angle a is equal to 20 degrees angle b is 40 angle b is equal to 40 degrees and angle c is 120 degrees right if you add this 3 also you get again 180 degrees right so only we should know some properties of uh, geometrical shapes then by applying the properties we can make one more linear equations and we can solve them like this we can solve some problems on geometry in linear equations you should make the linear equation first okay these are all the topics we have discussed now some miscellaneous problems so which will come from in different way apart from this i'll explain a few more problems now